Hey guys, what's up? This is Sama and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've been planning to switch from the iPhone XS Max to the Galaxy S10 Plus. I was always an Android user and recently I switched to the iPhone XS Max just for the sake of experiencing the iOS. My experience with iOS hasn't been good at all. So I was keeping an eye on the Galaxy S10 Plus and as soon as this phone came out, I placed an order and finally I've got this phone today. So in order to switch, I have to transfer everything from my iPhone XS Max to the Galaxy S10 Plus and I decided to use this opportunity to make this guide as well. Uh, I'm going to transfer everything from the iPhone XS Max to the Galaxy S10 Plus and I'm going to show this to you as well. So if you have been planning to do the same, you can use this guide. Although I'm using the Galaxy S10 Plus and iPhone XS Max in this guide, you can use this guide for any iPhone to migrate data to the Galaxy S smartphone. It doesn't matter what phone is this, this guide stands valid for all the Samsung Galaxy S phones, Galaxy Note phones and the iPhones out there. So without any further ado, let's begin now. So guys, I have the Galaxy S10 Plus and the iPhone XS Max lying in front of me. The tools needed to make this data transfer happen are the Lightning USB cable that came with your iPhone and the Samsung USB connector that came inside the box of your Galaxy S10 Plus. You need to connect the USB connector to the uh, Lightning cable of the iPhone like this and you have to establish a connection both these devices. But before we uh, begin transferring the data, you have to go to the settings on your iPhone. You have to go to password and account and then you have to click on iCloud. In iCloud, you have to turn off the contacts option and then you have to click on keep on my iPhone. Remember that not doing this will not let your iPhone transfer the contacts to the Galaxy S10 Plus. So it's a necessary measure for this data transfer. Now you are all set. After this, you have to go to settings on your Galaxy S10 Plus and here you have to click on account and backup. Now you have to click on smart switch and you have to go to the settings menu in smart switch. Here you have to click on about smart switch. This will check if there is any other latest software update available for your smart switch. Since I have already updated mine, uh, so it will show the latest version is already installed. Now you have to go to the uh, main menu in smart switch. And this is the screen you should be on before you connect both these devices. I'm going to connect the devices now. As both these devices are connected now, the Galaxy S10 Plus will show you the Get Connected screen and the iPhone will ask you this permission about trusting this computer. On the iPhone, you have to click on Trust and you have to enter the passcode of your iPhone. The iPhone is now fully connected with your Galaxy S10 Plus. On the Galaxy S10 Plus, you have to click on Next. The Galaxy S10 Plus will uh, now search through your iPhone XS Max for all the data that it can uh, bring. This time depends on the amount of uh, data that you have on your iPhone XS Max. So if you have a lot of data, you are going to uh, need a lot of patience for this process. Let's see how long it takes.
so guys you can see that the galaxy s10 plus has uh, searched through the iphone 10s max and it has synchronized all the data that you can transfer and now you have a list of uh, the data that you can select first of all we have uh, the calls and contacts if you click on the calls and contacts you will see that you will have the option to select facetime and voice call history and then you have the contacts stored on the device you can choose according to your liking and then go back now you can click on the messages and you can select the messages from a specific time period for example you want to restore uh, or copy the messages from last two years last 12 months last six months last three months or last 30 days you can select and then go back and then you can see the list of apps here you can see that you can copy the notes data the clock data and the calendar data you can go back once again these are the only options that you can select rest of the items from your iphone will be copied as it is now you have to click on the transfer button you can see that the iphone is now getting ready and uh, the galaxy s10 plus has uh, started grabbing the data from your iphone 10s max it says that it's going to take 13 minutes for this uh, procedure and we can see that it's copying the data really quick now it's transferring the wi-fi data you should just let it copy all the data and wait for a while guys if your galaxy phone uh, phones remember guys if your galaxy phones battery falls below 40 percent it's going to interrupt the copy uh, process so the best choice for you to put your phone on charging while it's copying the data and it's nearing 40 percent is to use a wireless charger i will use the fast charger for the galaxy s10 plus now so that uh, no data interruption takes place during this process In a while the Galaxy S10 Plus should show us the notification to remove the iPhone XS Max because the iPhone is connected through the lightning port it's continuously uh, eating up the battery juice of the Galaxy S10 Plus so as soon as you find the notification you should remove your iPhone from the Galaxy S10 Plus and uh, let's wait for the notification now see that the data has been copied now and the galaxy s10 plus is just organizing the stuff you can now safely remove the iphone from your galaxy s10 plus and here we will uh, do it right away the galaxy s10 plus will now take its time to organize the stuff and in a while it should show you the list of all the copied data okay so it has now hit 100 percent let's see when it shows us the list of data Okay guys, here is the list of uh, the data that uh, the Galaxy S10 Plus has copied from the iPhone XS Max. Uh, you will simply click on done now and uh, that's pretty much it. You can see that all the data has been copied. You should find the data in your phone now. For example, you can first of all go to the contacts on your phone and you will see that all the contacts are appearing which uh, came from your iPhone XS Max. And here are all the call logs and uh, similarly you can go to the messages and here you can see that all the messages have been copied from your iPhone XS Max. Okay guys, uh, what you should note here is that the iPhone XS Max hasn't sent any kind of applications to your iPhone XS Max. Uh, the problem with that is uh, because iPhone XS Max and all other iPhones use a really different file system. So the applications cannot be uh, sent over to any other Android phone or the Samsung phone. So in order to download all the applications, you will have to manually search for those applications on the Google Play Store. Another thing to note here is that uh, it hasn't copied any WhatsApp data uh, because uh, uh, iPhone stores WhatsApp data at an inaccessible place. Uh, there is no way to bring your WhatsApp data to your uh, Galaxy S10 from an iPhone. The only way to send WhatsApp uh, chat is uh, by sending a few of your important chats over an email, which is going to be a really lengthy process. So yes, you have to compromise on your WhatsApp data as you will not get it on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Other than that, uh, you will also note that iPhone uh, records all the movies in .mov format 
and the Galaxy S10 Plus is uh, stock video player is not going to support the dot .mov format. So what you can do is you can uh, go to the uh, Google Play Store and get a video player like the VLC for Android or uh, any other player like MX Play and install it. These players will play uh, those videos for you. That's pretty much it with the data transfer between the iPhone and uh, the Samsung Galaxy smartphone. I hope that you guys uh, found this uh, video really useful. I hope that you guys find this video really useful. Uh, it took a little bit of, uh, it took a lot of effort to make this video as uh, mishaps kept happening throughout the recording. So uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm open to listening to all the suggestions. Feel free to let me know what I should uh, improve in my videos. I will see all of you with another video really soon. Till then, take care. See you.